an artist, a nurse, a bladder man and his girlfriend go to a party at a poet's up north. The girlfriend has an argument with the bladder man about her disapproval of others drinking lots and smoking pot. The artist ends up piss witless on outside, face down on the grass. His leather jacket was visually similar to that of the bladder man. The bladder man's girlfriend leant down and started hitting the artist repeatedly saying, I'm not spending a minute longer with this bunch of pissed up druggies. The artist rolls over and grins. Realising her mistake, she stops, apologises and promptly leaves. A joiner, an accounts clerk, a printer and a perno drinker were leaving the pub shit-faced. For the sake of a joke, the joiner snapped off an aerial of a parked truck. The trucker came out of his house and demanded some cash. He's angry. The joiner thinks he's asking for too much and refuses. He failed to recognise it's a special CB aerial. The trucker has been all over Europe, Russia, even to Minsk without any trouble. He feels affronted that this should happen on his own doorstep. He calls the police and detains the joiner. At court, the joiner pled guilty and got a fine. A couple of poets, two artists, a pair of environmentalists and a town planner go out for a late night curry after the pub. They're all a bit tipsy. For the sake of a laugh, they all climb into the restaurant window on the first floor and pretend to be mannequins. The restaurant staff kindly humoured them. They've even got the photograph somewhere to prove it. You had to be there. It was really funny. An artist, an IT expert, a nurse, a charity worker and some bird watchers meet up at a pub. They have a right laugh putting their faces behind the flower troughs in the courtyard, poking them through. As the artist was first to leave the pub, he climbed up a brick pedestal outside some flats and started dancing on top of it, for the sake of a bit of fun. An angry resident came out and demanded the artist get down. He's really cross and wants to fight him. The landlady locks the pub doors as there's a fight going on. The artist stays aloft. He has no desire to get physical. The angry man gets angrier. A local who knows the angry man intervenes and calms him down. Three nurses and a childminder decide to hold a bonfire party. Loads of people pitched up and the fire was massive. The boyfriend of the childminder was causing a spot of grief. One of the nurses was really cross about this. Picking up a burning stick, she announced, I'm going to stick him. Luckily for him, he was nowhere to be found. Later, she got a spark in her eye and ended up going to accident and emergency. A drunken artist, an ex-para and a student were walking past the shopping mall and noticed the metal barrier wasn't quite completely shut. For a bit of sport, they tried to enter, but were shooed away by the security guard who closed it fully. After initially walking away, they turned back. They started running towards the barrier, arms spread, as if aircraft making dive bomb noises before crashing into it. After several passes, they went home. It seemed funny at the time. An accounts clerk and an admin officer were walking through their city centre. Across the road, a bunch of meatheads were going the opposite way. One of the meatheads clocked them and called over, Are you looking at me or are you chewing a brick, cunt? The admin officer walked towards him saying, Excuse me, but what's a brick, cunt? The meathead looked cross, as if someone might be taking the piss out of him. Lacking the same degree of bravado, the accounts clerk quickly ushered the admin officer away, explaining, It means no harm. A zoology student, an artist, some engineers and a teacher go into a nightclub. A pissed angry girl starts barging into the zoology student. The pissed girl then starts trying to stub his cigarettes out on the zoology student's arm. An engineer and the artist form a human shield. The pissed girl goes apeshit and starts hurling themselves at them. The artist and the engineer push her back. The pissed girl's mates come over. It looks like it was all going to kick off. The artist felt the adrenaline flutter in his legs. Peace talks in shoe, and luckily they reel her in instead. 
A clerk and a mustard salesman went to an outdoor Greek disco but got separated in the crowd. Meanwhile, a pair of British meatheads kept aggressively barging into others on the dance floor. Spurred by Dutch courage, the clerk pushed back against them and was invited to take it outside. We are outside, he replied. They followed him up the stairs and it kicked off, one of them pinning his arms while the other kept hitting him. Once he was done for, the arm holder released him. He protested at the injustice of two on one. Violence re ensued, but already spent, he failed to make any headway. A random girl gave him a consolation hug. His best t shirt was ripped. A couple of days later, a passing hippie asked him about his bruised face. On explanation, the hippie said, Hey man, you don't come to the island to fight. A teacher, an engineer, an artist, a student and someone from marketing were spending New Year by the sea. On the night itself, after the pub spilled out, they found a load of wood and built a bonfire on the beach. The local youth joined them with a beatbox and everyone was dancing and running in and out of the sea. The stars were out and it kind of felt magic. The next day they found they had unwittingly been burning a few of the wooden fish boxes, not just random wood. They all felt sheepish, but not enough to own up. The engineer felt the most remorseful. He always was the most grown up. A teacher, a marketing man, a printer and an office worker go back to a family home after the pub while their parents are on holiday. On the way home, they steal a road sign for a laugh. The house opposite has lots of planters outside. For the sake of the joke, they put them in a line down the middle of the road. They then play loud music till late. Someone calls the police, but they see a car pull up and hide in the darkness. A policeman bangs on the door and shines a torch through the glass windows. They crouch, giggling. The police car leaves. A bin man, a printer, an office clerk and a business student gate crash a family holiday at the seaside. They end up stupidly drunk and after the pub spill out onto the promenade. It's pissing down with rain and blustery. The clerk steals a garden gnome. The bin man pretends to empty a rubbish bin in the sea. The business student stands there with a broken sign saying, wet. And that's the printer? Well, it's funny you should ask that. The printer leaves the pub and shins up an aluminium lamppost in suburbia 